good afternoon. I have a verse of scripture for you today that is so important and has been such a blessing in my life to live this passage out in my own personal walk with God. It's found in Philippians chapter 2, beginning in verse 12. It says, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Of course, it's not talking about working for salvation. He's talking about spiritual growth and sanctification or growing in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and, and growing in that relationship with God and that fellowship with God that we come to know through faith in Christ. And I remember that in 1970, uh, I had just finished a walk across America from Monroe, Louisiana to Washington, D.C., had come back and had been invited to speak at a youth camp. And the main speaker there, uh, he and I were talking, and he went out of the room, and he came back suddenly, and he said, Ray, God just spoke to me and told me to tell you that you need to go to seminary or to Bible college. I forget which one he told me. I think probably seminary. Well, I wasn't ready to do that. I accepted what he said as from the Lord, but I wasn't prepared to do that. And so I left there and I took a church. Uh, I was invited to be on staff up in uh, Virginia. I went up there for a year and a half and then uh, I left there to work on Bourbon Street with Leo Humphrey for nine months. And uh, then God put in my heart to go back to school. And so I wanted to go finish my degree in music education. But I had a summer and the Lord led me to go to a church over in Alabama, and I worked with youth and music for a summer. When I finished my degree, after I'd come back to Monroe, I finished my degree, uh, there was still that kind of a longing in my heart. I don't know what it was, but other than the fact that I, a door would shut, I went to work at my father-in-law's store, and that wasn't working out real well, and I was not real happy. And so a door opened for me to go and work in Christian broadcasting here in Monroe, Louisiana. And I, I began as a DJ and I had a couple of radio programs and, and was selling advertisement. But eventually that, uh, that door shut. Now I was ready to go to, to Bible college. <laughs> God had brought me this entire trip around. I was willing now to go to Bible college. Well, when I came to that point, then... I called the school, they gave me a full scholarship, and I went to work on radio with KCBI in Dallas with the First Baptist Church of Dallas and, and Crystal Bible College. And all my, my books and everything were paid for. I had a place to stay while I was there, free of charge. And the only thing I had to pay for was food. You talk about an open door, God had to bring me back through several years before I was willing to do what he eventually told me to do through my brother in Christ. And uh, uh, I served two years there, and eventually I became the praise and worship leader at Crystal Bible College uh, in Dallas at First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas. And then I went back into full-time evangelism, but it was amazing as I look back how God was taking me and working in me the willingness to do what he told me to do several years earlier. And... Uh, God is wonderful about doing things like that because, you see, as we cooperate with the light that we have, and even though we may not be exactly where God wants us to be, He'll use us where we are. We walk in light, but He's going to work into our life His willingness eventually. And that's what He did in my life. Such a wonderful trip. And God's still doing that. Do you realize that? He, he still does that. 68 years later, he's still working in my life, the willingness to do whatever it is at his will. We cooperate with him, and then he works with us as well in this thing called salvation. Not working for it, but working it out as we walk by faith in Jesus Christ and in his word. He's faithful. Praise his holy name. Have a great day.